In Antwerp, a city with more than 1,000 student entrepreneurs, some of the world's largest innovative companies such as Umicore and BISF, and many events organized for and by students about, for example, the innovation process, starting your own business, how to find support for your, own, for your business, we offer this major. We are women Johanna, two of the professors of this major. And we will explain you a little bit more about the major's content. Let us first start with explaining you how the major is organized. We offer you two pillars, an innovation management pillar, where you will see Wim, and an entrepreneurship pillar, where you will see me. The next thing I want to emphasize in this course is digital technologies, because nowadays we live in a digital era, and you, if you teach innovation management, you have to focus on digital technologies, because it's going to change the business models, it's going to change the, the competitive advantage of companies in the future. So I'm going to focus on technologies like uh, IoT, um, artificial intelligence, blockchain technology, machine vision and so on. But again, I'm not going to focus on the technologies, I'm going to focus on the business models. I'm going to focus on how you can create a competitive advantage and how companies can transform themselves. That leads us, all, all, that leads us all, almost automatically to business model innovation, right? because we focus not on the technologies, we focus on how companies through a complete new value creation for customers and also new ways to capture value uh, will uh, gain a new competitive advantage. I give you a few examples. Um, they're quite different. So product innovation, for instance, which is quite old already, but it's interesting to see is, for instance, the Philips shavers where you can, uh, where you can shave wet, right? So that was like uh, 20 years ago, a big innovation. This is a typical example of a product innovation. But nowadays we go in quite different directions. Think for instance about Amazon Go. Most of you probably don't know it, but this is a cashier-free uh, shop. So what is the advantage of doing that? I will not explain it here, but this is a very interesting uh, uh, development for the future. LinkedIn, for instance, is an example of a platform um, uh, innovation. And so platforms become the new standard instead of, let's say, the linear value chain. And then you have examples of small startup companies that are disrupting uh, traditional businesses. Think, for instance, about the Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club is a very small company that has been breaking uh, the, the monopoly, let's say, of Procter & Gamble in shaving. And then finally, we have a company like Bex360, again, a small startup company that with artificial intelligence and blockchain technology is recreating, is disrupting the fair trade, uh, the fair trade, uh, yeah, fair trade in coffee, in cacao, and so on. In the entrepreneurship pillar, we will uh, focus on the underlying principles of how to start a business. For that, we will follow the entrepreneur's path. We will start with the ideation phase, opportunity recognition, and we will go along to market research, entrepreneurial finance, business modeling. We will pay specific attention to the entrepreneur as a person you and the environment in which the entrepreneur operates and how you as an entrepreneur can make changes within this environment as an institutional entrepreneur. This will help you to boost your entrepreneurial spirit and who knows to start your own business someday. Thus regarding teaching methods we will offer you many different methods. We will for example work with real life cases we will also organize many group works with international students and in the entrepreneurship pillar you will have the possibility to follow a summer school which is organized as a boot camp. And we have uh, also in-depth case studies. We're going to have a negotiation game in the innovation uh, pillar and of course we're going to invite practitioners for guest lectures. If you follow this major you can actually start in any type of career. From consultancy to being part of a larger management team. In the entrepreneurship pillar, they will of course try to focus on boosting your entrepreneurial spirit and you being part of an entrepreneurial team. And who knows, start your own business one day, now or in the future. And on top of that, you can combine the say, courses from uh, the two pillars, so the entrepreneurial pillar and the uh, innovation management pillar. So you can take courses from uh, the two sides. 
Um, and that means that you also can have like different opp opportunities in your career, right? So for instance, you can lead innovation teams if you're in a bigger company. You can uh, follow a trajectory um, in a startup, so an innovation trajectory in a startup company. Uh, you can be an entrepreneur in a large company, or they also call it a new business developer. Um, but for, you should not necessarily go to the private sector. For instance, like universities also take more and more people or hire more and more people for the technology transfer offices. Uh, or for instance, in consulting firms, they have more and more people focusing on innovation management. Uh, online platforms need a lot of people like you. And so there's a lot of opportunities besides, let's say, the classical startups and the large companies.